I mean, for starters, I never thought I would end up in Africa ever for anything. And the reason I wanted to come to Africa and take the 15 hour flight and leave my kids at home and all of that was because of how rich the experience was. And it's rich to see people from all over the globe come together with a shared vision, with a shared excitement and energy about who Jesus is and what he's inviting us to do in this world, but in a way that is tangible, in a way that you go, yes, this can actually happen. Okay, so we joined Ethnos uh, just more, more than a year ago. Uh, we, yeah, it's almost two years. Um, and it's been an incredible journey with them. This week has been phenomenal. We were in New York last year, um, and getting the guys here to come to Joburg. Ethnos is an amazing community of pastors that are real, that are authentic, and really care about planting churches all over this world. Algo muy interesante es que poder vivir esta experiencia de estar acá en Ethnos. Fue para nosotros un espacio de oasis, donde nos pudimos encontrar con gente que nos comprendía, que nos amaba, que tenía las mismas experiencias y que además de ser pastores eran personas, tenían necesidades. Uh, when Ethnos found me, I was four years into Korea, alone, only foreigner, only English speaking pastor, really tired, really burned out, really isolated. So Ethnos brought community. It brought me seeing that there's pastors with similar situations in mind and just love and fellowship. Jamás hubiera imaginado mi esposa y yo estar acá en Sudáfrica y aprendiendo diferentes culturas, diferentes idiomas. Pero lo más interesante de todo esto, como dije al principio, es la unidad. La unidad lo que crea es algo poderoso. Servimos a un solo Dios, aquí no importa las, el estatus social o el idioma en que hablamos, si somos blancos, si somos eh, negros, si somos amarillos, de color que sea. Somos seres humanos y somos eh, eh, personas creadas por Dios, ¿no? Like you've got pastors from different countries, mm -hmm. you have pastors speaking different languages with interpreters, yeah. and yet the themes that they were, what they're dealing with, are similar. You know, yeah. finding balance, ministry, marriage, family, life, mm -hmm. um, maybe financial struggles of people who maybe hurt them that they trusted yeah. in. It's not about who's the best or who's the worst or uh, who's trying to be the, the king of the mountain. It's about everybody journeying together as a family. This past weekend at Ethna, seeing all this, um, you know, multi like ethnic diversity and having the same heart for the kingdom and for Jesus, my reaction to this in the first worship was, I'm home. It's not just a dream and a wish and a hope. Um, and so having the network be able to sharpen each other across that, to be that picture, um, where they're supporting one another without competition, um, but still maintaining their identities of what it is they feel called to, I think is a blessing. And, and we see that as it expands in the worship, we see that as we put prayer and relationship as the primary foundation of what it means to be a part of this network. Um, the way we experience Jesus for ourselves as pastors and ministers, um, it's life-giving. Awesome.